Watch it guys, if you use CCleaner, you're probably going to want to watch this video because they've got hacked again. This is not the first time they've been hacked or got infected. They've been infected in 2017, 2019, and yet again in 2021. They've also been hacked before and they've had massive data breaches. In this one, the company has confirmed that paid customers' names, contact phone numbers, and billing addresses and more were attained by the hackers. According to TechCrunch, uh, Gen Digital, who owns CCleaner, wouldn't disclose how many users are part of this breach. So be very careful if you do use CCleaner and you do pay for it. The company is emailing the affected customers or customers that do purchase CCleaner. But you have to sort of be amused at their Twitter account. CCleaner protects your privacy and makes your devices safe, fast, fun to use with our optimization apps and secure browser. Now, this company has had data breach after data breach, and it's really sort of mind blowing how this can happen over and over again. Now, there's plenty of stuff online that you can read how CCleaner has had data breaches before and how they've distributed malware in the past uh, with their program. You can see here, this is another company that has written articles on data breaches and how the program has literally distributed malware. There's loads of stuff out there about CCleaner. And again, if you are a user of CCleaner, then you may want to consider changing software to another more reliable software. This was another one that was posted back in 2017 where they had another data breach here. I'm not sure how many chances you can give a company to keep your data safe. If you look on Twitter, uh, Troy Hunt uh, basically made a post here about CCleaner, information about the Move It uh, vulnerability, and it will give you a full blow for blow exactly uh, what was breached here as well. Now, part of CCleaner's response here was naturally we take any data exposure very seriously. As a valued customer, we would like to offer you BleachGuard for an additional dark web monitoring free of charge for only six months. So they're only offering it for six months. And obviously the data breach has now come and all your address and personal information, your all your details are going to be exposed. So obviously it's not good. And again, they're saying uh, stay vigilant against a potential phishing uh, threats as more commonly available personal information like your name and contact information combined with purchase information is not good. Also, TechCrunch have also made a post about it and so have other big sites like HowToGeek as well. And other big sites like Groovy Post have also made a post about this as well. So it's on reputable sites. So be very careful out there, guys, if you're using something like this and you do pay for it. There is other options available for you for free that will clean your PC if you need to use software like this. And those software are freely available on the Internet to download. One of them's called BleachBit. Again, clean your system and free disk space. It's a pretty decent bit of software. I use this one myself. It's pretty decent. And again, it's got loads of custom settings in here which you can use to clean all of the junk files off of your PC. Another one is Privacer. Uh, this is another free program. They do offer a pro version as well, but they do have a, a free version of it as well, which will clean up your uh, system and obviously uh, remove any sort of junk files and stuff like that, depending on what you're looking for. But there is options available out there for free. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Just a quick news video for today. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now. <music>